Hi. <laughs> What's up, butt cheeks? How's it going? <laughs> it's been a little bit. Um, we're back. We are back with the potato cam. Why? Uh, because you guys loved it. <laughs> Why else? <laughs> Not because I feel more comfortable in the potato rather than myself. No, that'd be preposterous. Anyways, how are you doing? That's great. Good to hear. You're not doing well? Anyways, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm a very, I'm in a very silly, goofy mood. Um, I just got finished with stream today. Uh, we were drawing for my bitches. Oh my goodness, I have so many updates, you guys. You're like my besties. Oh my goodness, I have, I'm getting comfortable. <sighs> okay, you guys are like my besties and I have so much to literally update you on. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Okay, I can't wait for you guys to listen about me, talk about me. <laughs> No, I just have life updates and then we actually have a, a real discussion. Um, that sounded very serious. Literally, no, we don't. Anyways. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so where do I start? Where do I start? First of all, last week I challenged you guys to uh be more positive and to be looking at the bright side and stop saying I can't. Stop saying I have to do this or saying I get to do this. Um, I can do this. This is this is possible. How many of you did it? If you didn't do it. That's awkward. If you did, have you noticed it change in your life? I personally have stuck to it for about, what is it? It's two weeks, every other week. So two weeks, is that, I don't, I, I literally am barely passing my math college class. Don't ask me if it's two weeks or one and a half weeks. I don't know. Is it one week? No. Is it one week? No, it's two weeks. It's two weeks. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've been keeping it up and I've been feeling really, really good. I had a, uh, What's it called? What's it called? Oh, a therapist meeting uh, with my <laughs> therapist. Um, and she was like, you're, you're doing a lot better. And I feel like you are making a lot of progress within your life. And I am really proud of you. And I was like, yay! <laughs> she also roasted me. She was literally bullying me. And I was like, wait, this is actually what I need in life. I need a therapist who can like joke with me and poke fun at me. Like, I, th this is what I enjoy. I don't need you to be like, you are depressed. Anyways, no, I need her to be like, bro, why would you do that? And I was like, I don't know why I literally do that. Like, what is wrong with me? Um, <laughs> so she was really proud of me. And I think that uh, being positive really did help that. I think that honestly, it's playing a big part in my life. I am pushing myself forward even when... I don't feel like I have the ability to push forward. I keep telling myself I can, and then I do. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, look at me. I'm a magician. I literally just told myself I could, and I did. And, ooh. Anyways, <laughs> that's my new word. Anyways, my new word. Um, 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 okay, so updates. Okay, yay, okay. Um, where do I start, dude? First and foremost, we have an editor now. Uh, yay. <laughs> I feel like most people who listen to the podcast, watch the streams, or YouTube videos, or... Uh, at least a TikTok or Instagram or something. And if you don't, you literally, it's free. Like, hello, if you like the podcast, you literally like everything else. Everything is Ludo Um, We got an editor. And, and I like saying we because, yes, it's me, but I feel like it's an us thing, you know? I like including you guys because, like, I wouldn't be here without you. So I want to include you because, and that's literally what I do and why I do it. Because I didn't, I wasn't included. I want to include people. So we got an editor. Yes, we did literally i okay i got i got the war <laughs> so i've always wanted an editor uh like i wanted to be in a position where i needed an editor um watching people's streams and gaming videos growing up and all that i was like oh lord i want that to be me so i learned how to edit uh for the band but then i slowly started editing my stuff and adding in my just kind of editing style and everything um and it was fun. I really liked it, but it just takes so much time. And it was generally burning me out because the second I would get off stream, I would get on my Mac and I start editing. And if it's a three hour stream, like from a three hour stream, I go to editing three hours. And obviously it's not just three hours, three hours of editing <laughs> can take up to like 12 hours. So I, I was never resting. I was never getting a break and I was never getting a break from work because the second I was done working, I did a new job, um, which was editing or uh, thumbnail making or any of that. So 
it, it, I loved editing and I still do. I still edit some of my videos. Um, I'm just not pressured. Like I need to get videos out, you know, weekly. I'm not pressured. I, I have. And, uh, and um, I was telling a friend, I was like, so I feel like, and this is going to, I'm going to like kind of hop into a conversation and then hop out of it. And then we'll dive back into the conversation. Um, Cause this is what our podcast will be about, but a little bit of a teaser, if you will. Um, I feel like I have this purpose for my life and I feel like God is calling me to this certain area. And many people tell me that this is unrealistic and I need to be logistic and I need to um, get my head out of the clouds and all of that. Um, and because of that, that pushes me because I know, um, I know that what is best for me and where, where I need to be in life. Um, they, they don't know that. Like you, no one knows what's in your brain except you. No one knows what's best for you except you. Um, and sometimes we don't even know. So I was working my butt off and trying to achieve this goal and trying to achieve this dream because I, I knew it was, I knew this is what I needed to do. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying, I was working. But what I didn't know is I was doing it my way. I said, I'm going to do it my way, God. I didn't like purposely do it, obviously, but I was editing till like 4 a.m. I was not hanging out with anybody like and community is a big deal god makes it a very large point in the bible that community is a huge deal i'm an introvert i could literally never talk to a person ever and i'd be great but we do still need to have community um i wasn't hanging out with family i wasn't hanging out with friends. i literally was working 24 7 and then I would be like, why am I so exhausted? Why am I so tired? Why am I so anxious? Why is my OCD flaring up? Like, I was doing it, in my opinion, for my life, incorrectly. Um, and I would see, like, progress, you know? Um, it's what would push me, but nothing huge. Uh, and, and numbers don't matter to me. Um, truthfully, like... Uh, our chat is usually full of about 20 to 23 people or 25 people. And like to some people, they'd be like, oh, that's puny numbers. But to me, it's like, that's a classroom full of people. Like we're all hanging out and having fun. I love that. Uh, just to me for growth wise, to be able to continue to do this, invite more people into our community, share more love onto a community um, and be able to do this full time. That's where kind of people play into that. Um, so I'm not saying this as in like a, oh, I got a million views. Like, no. <laughs> so the, those videos and those TikToks and streaming on days that I felt like just I didn't have the energy, but I still did it. They they like were doing good. But um, I was like, man, I'm putting in so much effort. And like, I, I feel like I'm not seeing a bunch of like progress from it. Like, God, I, I thought this is what I was supposed to do. And then talking with my therapist and one of my best friends, they were all like, you need to slow down. Um, you're 18. <laughs> like, you are not five people. You are one person. You need to have balance. You need to have family life. You need to have work life. You need to have rest. Um, you need to go outside and just <laughs> touch grass. No, like, don't have media. Don't be listening to something. Like, just go outside and enjoy outside basically um you're overstimulating yourself 24 7 and and for me i get overstimulated very easily and it, it flares a lot of my um mental issues so they're like you're you're kind of doing it to yourself like you need to take a step back like you're doing too much and at first it was really hard to hear because obviously i grew up go 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 the more you did the more you meant something the more you worked the more you were praised and so i was trying to do all this and not for anyone else's approval but mine i guess i was trying to seek my own approval and like ah oh, it's worth it like i'm doing it, i'm doing it and so i finally you know let the pride down was st i was done being stubborn as i am i get very stubborn i am aware <laughs> and i was like okay i'll take breaks i guess <laughs> so i started taking days where I would just play video games, not on stream, not for content, not, didn't do my chores first, literally just play games. And then I'd do some school, maybe work out, maybe not, just kind of relax, you know, just kind of take a deep breath and be like, okay, 
what do I feel like would be good for me today instead of what do I have to do today? What do I feel would make me happy today? And you're allowed to feel that. So many people in this world would be like, that stinking snowflake mentality. You have to wake up and be an alpha at 5 a.m. And then you go to work and then you do everything else under the sun. And then you get home at 9 p.m. You eat steak and you go to bed. You can't be happy. You have to work hard. And it's like, no, you don't. Um, not like going to like tell anyone how to live their life. And if you want to wake up at five, like great. And if you have to wake up at five for your job, you got to get up at five for your job. Like I was waking up at seven for my job. I quit the job because that was making me miserable and hate life. So like, I'm not the person to go to for uh, advice for that because my advice would be like, find a different job if it's making you miserable and hate life. Cause like, I feel like that's the only <laughs> like logical answer here, but some people would literally be like, no, that's just life. You just have to hate it. It's, no, sorry. I'd been there, done that. Didn't enjoy that one. So we're going to enjoy life here. So, uh, but yeah, I've been taking, taking breaks and, um, here we are with an editor, you know, like I actually started taking breaks and taking my hands off the wheel and being like, Jesus, take the wheel. You got this. I was like, right, but turn here. God was like, bro, stop backseat driving. Let me take the wheel. I was like, oh, fine. You're right. You're right. You're right, God. You're right. I didn't mean fine in like a disrespectful way. Like and he's like, stop over explaining. That's something you need to work on too. I was like, right, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, stop over apologizing. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got this. So um, I feel like once I finally gave God the control, and did it correctly for me um making sure i got sleep making sure i was rested making sure i was eating. and you guys are so so sweet to me literally at so many dms of just like make sure you're taking care of yourself you put yourself first like we're here whenever you do a stream today or in a week like we'll still be here and it mean it, it those dms do mean a lot to me because it, it is I, it is scary sometimes i'm like wait but i'm not doing like something today like i gotta do something you guys are like no take a break um so yeah, I feel like I finally started doing it correctly. And God was like, yes, this, like now I can bless you with this because you're doing it correctly. Because if you would have blessed it with me, blessed me with it um, when I wasn't, um, if I was saying about 4 a.m. editing, imagine what I would do if I had a bigger platform. I'd probably stay up till 6 a.m. editing, you know, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., never sleeping. Um, and God knew that would destroy me. And he's not going to give me more than I can handle. So I feel like now that I'm doing it correctly, God kind of, uh, he invited people into my life. And this editor literally... I found him, um, so many people were sending in requests and, and they, they were great. It was just, I was like, this, none of them are clicking, you know? I was like, I got to feel that click. Um, especially if I'm going to be editing with them, it's got to click. And so I also went on to Fiverr and I was like, all right, let me see if there's any people. Cause I know a lot of people out of college will get on there and want to be, um, starting up with someone and grow with someone. And I found our editor and literally wanted basically nothing for the edits and i was like oh my goodness did a trial video i was like oh my word this is the one you are the one yes beautiful literally doing two videos a week from vods literally working his butt off for me i don't know why like i praise god because it doesn't make sense i also paid him more than he wanted because like it's I personally was like, you deserve way more than that. Um, and actually, uh, so we'll jump back now because that's the editor portion. Um, another blessing from God is I started a Patreon. Um, everyone's been wanting me to start a Patreon and I felt really bad because I didn't have anything to give back. And I felt bad just being like, hand me money. Because um, even on Twitch, when I'm streaming, I'm providing entertainment. I feel like it's like a, if you were to go to like a show and tip them, you know? So I just felt bad. And we had talked about before when I get my service dog doing Patreon um, to help pay for his vet bills and his training for becoming a service dog. But that's still not for a while. So I was like, oh, I just don't know. Like everyone wants me to do it. And some of my friends were like, don't let people pressure you into it if you don't want to do it. And I was like, it's, it's not that like, I, I just feel scummy. Like, not providing something back you know and you guys are 
literally angels and don't want anything from me. You're like, just, we just want to support you. But I'm like, I, I can't do that. I feel bad. I feel bad even with the, I feel bad taking money. We've already had this discussion on Twitch. I feel bad taking money, but like people are like, okay, then how are you going to make it a job? And I was like, I don't know. I just, I want to do it for free. And they're like, that's not how the world works. And I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> Let me accept it. It's give me time to process this. Um, so I started the Patreon and there's a bunch of different tiers. I wanted to make sure there was tiers where people could be a part of it and support, um, hopefully from all ranges. Uh, and again, they're on there. I say like, you don't have to. And I really mean it like from my heart, you do not have to listening to this podcast means just as much. Um, everything, everything just plays a different part in my life. And, um, I don't want anybody making a financial decision to support me when they need it more or their family members need it more or their friend needs it more. Like, obviously, please put them first. Do not put me first in that situation. Um, please make sure you're good first. Uh, so so I did the pa Patreon and I started it and it's just, I have like different things to, where you guys get to be part of the creation and content creation because I know some people want to be a part of that. They just don't know how to start. Um, so yeah, so you guys get to be a part Um choose games that I stream and different YouTube video series I have planned. Uh, you get early access YouTube videos. I know um, one of the tiers I do paintings and drawings. I just did a PFP on stream, um, which is a profile picture for someone. And um, there's just a bunch of different things on there that I don't know, I thought was really cute um, and wanted to do uh, something that wouldn't burn me out and wouldn't put me under uh, a bunch of stress because I know with um, our, our old band Patreon, I was very stressed out with the one-on-ones and the um, just like deadlines, I feel like we were put under, um, that stuff really stresses me out. So I didn't want to be put under any deadlines. Um, I just wanted to be very like peaceful, just little kind of like diary, I guess, for all of us to be a part of and content creation, let you guys see the insides of it and write you guys letters. And, um, even I know some people have wanted me to do a cameo, so it's kind of has that aspect to it. So I started the Patreon and the literally the day i just announced it i just soft launched it i was just like hey i'm doing this now if you'd like to join um please don't feel like you need to and that day i literally had enough people sign up where we're paying for the editor and so i i, I genuinely was like god you're so crazy stop <laughs> you were you little silly girls <laughs> i i did ball that night I, I just started crying from like i know i think slowly letting myself feel emotions uh, if you also listen to streams you know i'm not good with emotions so uh my therapist is working with me on it because she's like you are a female and you are a very emotional being you act like you are a male who was taught to shove your emotions down i was like because i wasn't <laughs> but um so like slowly trying to learn how to feel emotions and so sometimes it just hits me out of nowhere because I'm like trying to learn how to like do all of the emotion things. And so I just sat there. I got so happy. I just started like bawling and I was like, I don't know why I'm crying. And I was on the phone with a friend. I was like, why am I crying? <laughs> and they were like, because you feel appreciated and you feel loved. And I was like, I don't deserve this. <laughs> like, Yes, you do. You do deserve this. Like they 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 relate to you and love you and they want to support you and everything you do because you're a genuine person i was like no <laughs> stop but yeah so the patreon literally is uh, uh enough to where i can pay for an editor now and so it takes a lot off of me to where i'm not having to work 24 7 but i can still literally two videos out a week with shorts like it it that is so much. That is so, so much. And I'm so appreciative. And I can't wait to grow with our editor to where I can continue to pay him even more. Because even when I'm paying them now, I'm like, I want to pay you so much more. <laughs> Just don't have the money to. So like, as we grow, you're getting bonuses and like raises like constantly. Um, But it, it was just incredible how God works uh, in my life. And so we have that. And I'm trying to think of some other things. School's about to end. The semester is about to end. So I'll have some free time. Um. I'm trying to think of anything else uh, that came up this week. Also, sorry, I got away from my mic. I was all the way back here. So sorry if that was like not loud. I don't know. Um, 
I'm trying to think of anything else to catch you guys up on. I need to start writing things down because I forget so easily. Oh, driver's license. Uh, they're booked for the next 30 days. I don't know how that works, but so I'm going to try to go find somewhere else to get my driver's license um, to hopefully be able to do that. And, 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 and I got some callbacks for interviews for part-time jobs just to make some more um, extra money to save up because I want to put a lot into savings for when I move out for my apartment and stuff. That way I'm not um stressing out so i'm putting a lot of my stuff into savings right now so i am uh looking at different different part-time jobs and like dog walking jobs because i really love animals so just different part-time jobs sorry i keep burping it like in really it's weird um different dog walking jobs i'm so excited about that uh so i got different i have an interview i think in a couple days um Oh my word. And I have my massage therapist Friday. Oh, yay. I said it on stream. I messed up my rotator's cuff a couple years ago. So I had to go to physical therapy for it. And then I had to go to, um, was it, what did I just say? My massage therapist? Yeah, massage therapy for it um, whenever it acts up. Because if not, it could get bad to the point where I have to go back to physical therapy. So I had to go to her Friday. And she literally makes me feel so good inside and so good on, on the outside. <laughs> so i am excited but yes i am ah, dude life is i was so happy today i don't know why i'm in a good mood but i'm in a good mood i don't know why but i'm in a good mood uh i got gold one also literally the biggest update ever <laughs> and i'm trying to think of anything else i think that's all of the updates so let's get into the subject that i want to talk about today um i was about to say i don't know how long this will be but remember last week we talked about i'm not saying that so let's just discuss i'm sitting sitting back i want to talk about um, and I'm sorry if I get loud and start ranting it's because it's like I get I get hyped my mother is part Italian so like I don't know if that's part of it I think I'm like part Italian is that like I don't think that's racist I think people I worry too much she's part Italian I speak with my hands and I start getting like really fast and amped up okay so let's talk about dreams and goals not the Minecraft YouTuber <laughs> actual dreams and goals I have a very I think, in my opinion, unique way of looking at life. I've been told my entire time growing up that I see life differently and that uh, when I was a kid, it was praised and everyone was like, wow, you, you, you think of life so different. But as I got older, people started to kind of correct me and tell me I can't think that way, um, which was Aquaman. somebody just followed me on my OBS. <laughs> I'm recording this on my stream setup and someone just followed me. Hey. Kayla, what's up? Thanks for following the Twitch. Anyways, um, so they would tell me like, no, you can't think that way. Or like, no, this is, no, you actually have to be realistic. Um, so I view life as there's common sense in my brain, <laughs> contrary to popular belief of like, yes, if I am in an apartment and it costs 1500 for everything, bills, food, apartment building, the common sense is I need to make that much money. Obviously, to stay in there so I don't go in debt. That's common sense to me. My brain also sees things as there are no limits. Life is limitless when you have God behind you. Um, so common sense is like, whether it's a monthly budget or common sense of like, okay, but uh like reality wise like we can't fly <laughs> like I'm, I'm not saying like we can like have magic powers i hope people this is very hard to understand when i explain it i think but so I, like i have common sense of like what like literally can possibly physically happen but i view life with i want to live an unrealistic life i want to live an abundant life because that's what we're called to live by god we're supposed to live life abundantly and I don't think that stops in any category of my life. I think a lot of people like to put God in a box and say, okay, God can provide here, but he, all right, but we got a plan for this. We got to have a backup plan for this. Um, and I, I choose not to do that with my life. Um, and I think that scares people because they think that, I don't know. I actually don't know what they think, but I definitely know it scares people because I've been told not to think this way before. Um, but I, at 18 years old, in my head, I'm going to talk about my dream, which is content creation and streaming for you guys. Um, I've talked multiple times about how this is my dream. And I feel 
called physically to do this and I have since I was four years old. I had a video camera and was filming myself and making my own little short films at four years old. I was filming with my cousins. I was editing them together. They looked awful, but I was constantly filming for an audience that I didn't even have. Constantly playing games, talking aloud to a chat wasn't even there. And I feel like this dream was kind of shoved under a carpet whenever the band arose um, because that became the main focus. And that was really, really fun. And I love drumming and I still love drumming. I would love to do drum streams and everything. But at the end of the day, that dream was still there and it was still kind of like, hey, like, what about me? <laughs> I'm still here. And I believe that that was placed there for a reason. Um, and I feel like my purpose is to share God's love and to just help people smile and be there for them when they need a comforting hand or potato voice. <laughs> um, and just kind of be there to help people laugh and smile and think positively and include them and to be a part of something and to want someone. Um, and so I believe that that is what I'm going to do in life. I believe that it's possible, um, the progress I'm making within, because I do work in social media, the progress I'm making within my social media platforms is steadily up. Um, and I understand that a lot of people are very weary of this career path because it is not a, um, what's it called? It's not a confirmed, I guess, or... I, I don't know the word, but it's it's not, oh, secure. It's not a, like a secure, this is going to lead to you being like funded and being able to support yourself. Um, But that security not being there doesn't scare me because that's not my security. Finance is not my security. God is my security. And so when people tell me, okay, but you have to be realistic, like, so what do you like? What's your backup plan if this doesn't work? Go to God and ask him, okay, now what God? And like, okay, but like you, and it's like, I have ideas. Yes, I, I agree. I have ideas of what I would do. Um, if there comes a moment in life where this is not the only thing that I do to support myself. But why would I plan out a scenario? Because that's planning to fail. And that's me telling God Hey, I'm planning for you to fail, God. Just so you're aware. If you mess up, I got it. What? And the people telling me this are the same people that are like, you have to have faith. You have to have faith in God. God will take you everywhere. Like, if you are down in months rent, but you tithe, God will provide it back. And it's like, okay, but where's your faith when it comes to life? Where's your faith when it comes to what's good for you? What, where's your faith when it comes to your dreams? You don't think God put those dreams there to, to, to use you to help people? And I just think it's very odd when I get that reaction and I tell people, well, God will take care of me. Like, I don't have a backup plan because I feel like this is where God wants me to be. And as long as this is where God wants me to be, it's going to work. And if it's not where God wants me to be, he'll bring me to the next destination. I'm not concerned. You don't, you don't get in your car and go, okay, if the GPS leads me to the wrong place, here's a sinking mapped out direction to where the right place is. No, you get to that place. And if it's the right place, it's the right place. And if it's the wrong place, you literally put it back into your GPS and go, okay, where's the right place? one sits there and maps out the exact like no that's planning to fail it's planning to get lost you can have some ideas all right guys make sure we have cell service so that if we get here you know and it's not the right place we we have cell service so that, okay like say once maybe no one constantly sits there and goes this is the wrong place this is the wrong place this is the wrong place what if the wrong place what is the wrong place? no there's no point in worrying because then what if you get there and it's not the wrong place and you just spent so much of your life worrying for no reason and so i tell people like my God isn't realistic. He doesn't work in realistics. He literally split water so his people could walk through. 
But you're telling me to have a backup plan of a nine to five job that I will suffer in and mentally just plummet in? But you literally, you literally preach about, you preach about how Jesus rose from the dead. It's not, last time I checked, that was very unrealistic and not logical at all. But then you tell me that my purpose in life needs to have a backup plan because it's not realistic. Because I'm sorry. What once was impossible, technology, is now an everyday thing. No one blinks an eye at it. Yet people hundreds of years ago would be like, that's impossible, that, never, that would never happen. So don't tell me my life choice is impossible, especially when there is realities of other people's lives where they do this full time. I just, I, I get so confused why I'm not allowed to have my thought pattern of life when it is a positive thought pattern and one that is making me feel mentally better. Sitting here having backup plans, working myself into the ground, working a nine to five job that is quote unquote secure, which I'm sorry, you have to put a two week notice in if you want to quit, but they can fire you on the spot. Tell me how that's secure. It's not. That was making me mentally miserable. The way I feel called to be, it's not realistic because guess what? The only answer then is God. When people say, how did you get where you are? I can't say, well, I followed this step, this step, this step, this step. I can say, honestly, I don't know. It, it's all God because there's, I shouldn't be here where I am. And that's what he wants. He wants to work in unrealistic. He wants you to live abundantly. He wants you to live a life where people go, how? So you can go, God, that's how. And I just find it very frustrating that Christians in my life come to me and say you have to be realistic and it's like first of all i'm 18 living at home with my parents what were you doing at 18 living at home with your parents did you have a nine-to-five job no why are you projecting your life onto me my life is not your second chance at correcting your mistakes if you want to not be miserable in life you get to do that in your own life don't use my life to do that. Don't project your misery onto my life. Just because you're miserable in your life decisions and your life choices and your career path and mine looks fun and exciting and I beam, I beam about my work because it's so, it fills me with such purpose. It fills me with such love and just positivity every single day. Literally, you guys don't understand how much you have helped me. I wake up beaming beaming with just positivity. I love life and it's a mixture of things, but I can assure you, you guys are a part of it because you guys fulfill my purpose, which is to make others smile and to make others happy and to share God's love with other people. Don't tell me how to choose to live my life just because you were miserable and are miserable. Change your life. Decide for yourself. But don't, don't tell me at 18, I have to be logical because my God does the unrealistic. Not saying I don't have common sense. This is where people are like, oh, you're just stupid little kid who doesn't understand. You got to pay the bills. Since when did I say that? I'm not some stupid little kid. I have childlike faith in a God that literally rose his son from the dead that he will take care of my life and he's calling me in this direction, why would he call me just to watch me fall? He's not luring me over being like, hey, hey, watch this, she's gonna take the bait and then I'm gonna leave her and now she's gonna be like, oh, what do I do? No, God's up there cheering me. I'm being like, yes, do it. So many people are literally not rooting for you and ignoring you and mocking you, but keep going. You've got this. And day after day, I am shown blessings after blessings from you guys, from God, from random strangers that encourage me to keep going. Literally just out of the blue, random people will 
do things in my life that it's like, it reminds me, this is why I do what I do. This is why I post videos on the internet. This is why I make comedy material so that you guys can laugh. Getting messages where it's like, this is the first time I've laughed in a while. Like, yes, yes, that means so much more to me than sitting at a desk and typing out emails, which I still have to do sometimes, but like they're funny emails. <laughs> So it's like, I'm not shaming anyone who works a nine to five. If that's what works for you, absolutely splendid. But you can't tell me what works for me because you're not me. My entire life I've been told, you don't give up even when everybody else does. You have such a determination for your goals that you'll achieve them no matter what. My entire life I've been told this. You know why? Why would I give up on God? Because God's timing is perfect. So giving up is me telling God his timing was off. Giving up is me telling God, hey, you're late. So I'm gonna go back to my plan. God's timing is never off. So I'm never gonna give up because if what if one more day was all God wanted? What if one more month was all God needed to be able to work in your life to make sure you're ready to go for what he's about to bless you with? No, I'm not gonna give up. No. Yes, this is my dream. This is a dream I've had ever since I was a kid. And there is no coincidence that the things that have happened, I have I've literally written notes of prayers to God, of direct things that have happened and correlated into my life. This is, this is a re there's a reason I'm here. And there's a reason that I do the things that I do. There's a reason that I am slowly taking more breaks and slowly being better mentally I'm not working and grinding and doing it 24 seven. I'm sleeping. I have an editor who edits for me, so I'm not editing till 4 a.m. I'm just getting rest. I'm taking days off and just being lazy. And again, other people be like, oh, you just wanted to be lazy. Bro, I literally worked 11 years of my life for no pay. No, I'm not being lazy. I'm, it's called literally healing. And if you can't accept that, then just leave because then you can't accept me. So I'm, I'm being lazy. I'm practicing not having to be perfect and working my butt off. I'm practicing that my worth starts when I wake up, not when I clock in. And it's changing my life. And so I want to just share with you guys this, because if you have a dream and you have something you want to do in life, or you have a way of thinking that is different than everyone else, but it's helping you. Don't let someone take that from you because there's nothing else miserable people want than to see you miserable with them because they can't stand to see people happy. Miserable people can't stand it because they'd rather work harder to make you miserable than to work harder on themselves to become happy. So don't let them take that from you. I have a light inside of me. I shine because I have the love of God inside of me. I ain't letting someone take that from me. And they have tried. They have literally tried. I'm telling you, I got some tea that one day I'm going to share. And you guys are going to be like, oh, woo! and I'm going to be like, I know there's no way. And you're going to be like, sheesh, bro. And I'm going to be like, I know I should write a book. And you're going to be like, no, don't do that. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I don't know. I just felt like I, it's something I'm very passionate about. And obviously my podcast is literally just my thoughts. What, and, mm, it's what it is, you know? If I was corny, I would have called it my thoughts. Well, that's probably a thing already. Something, I don't know. Or my diary, my inner diary. <laughs> but that's what, that's what Ludacast is. It's just me speaking about what I, I feel like I need to speak about or what's on my mind or some funny things sometimes, some serious things sometimes. But like, don't let people take your dream, dude. Don't let them convince you you have to be miserable because they are too. Don't let them convince you that life sucks. Life sucks and you die. No, it doesn't. My life is great. My life is absolutely fantastic. And it's because I chose open up that carpet, take out that dream that was shoved under there and stomped on 
And I began to nurture that dream. I began to nurture it and treat it with importance. And now I have days where I literally just cry from happiness. Who does that? Like, what in the world? Like, who am I? <laughs> I used to literally cry from how miserable I was in life. I would just break down and start crying. And just, I was just like, I'm just so miserable. <laughs> like, how do people do this? I feel so heavy in life. And now I literally cry from happiness. Because I just feel so blessed. I feel so blessed with the best friends that cheer me on. I feel so blessed with a therapist that is there for me and is encouraging me and helping me heal parts of me that I didn't even know need to be healed. I'm so blessed with a community that is literally the biggest, biggest supporters I have ever seen. You guys are exactly what I need as well. Like, I'm not just speaking financial supporters. I'm speaking emotional and physical, literally showing up every single time I'm live and just saying, hey, I hope you have a good day. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to be here. Like, what? I'm so blessed. I'm so happy that I get to do this. Like, this is my dream. And if I would have listened to them and let them take that light out of me and say, this is how you have to think. You are wrong. You have to be realistic. I'd be in a nine to five hating life, probably on the newest antidepressant. I already have enough issues as it is. I'm not adding more. So when people tell me, you will literally like, you, you got to be more realistic. Why? What's the answer? Because the world tells you you have to be because you think I have to be. Don't let other people tell you what your purpose is. Don't let other people tell you how you have to think. Don't let other people rip your joy out of you because they're gonna try because they want it but they can't have it so they'll take it from you so that you can't have it either but they can only take it when you let them and I let people for a while I let them for a while because I got tired I got tired of saying you don't understand like I can do it you don't understand this is a dream you don't understand. This is what I'm really passionate about. You don't understand. I'm actually making progress. I got tired of explaining myself. I got tired of being the one everyone picked on. So I gave him my joy. I said, okay. I shoved the dream under the rug and I never spoke about it again. Until one day I said, you know what? Let me look up how to create a Twitch channel. And here we are. It, you can't let others take your joy and your shine because that's what makes you special. And if you have a dream, chase it. Chase it until you get it. Because everything is possible through Christ Jesus. Everything. And it doesn't stop when you leave the church. It doesn't. God can do anything. Quit putting him in a box. Quit praying weak prayers. God, I pray that I'd have a good day. No. God, I pray that I'd have the best day ever. I pray that you would help and heal my anxiety and my OCD. I pray that this day would bring so much joy. I just feel overwhelmed. I pray I get to meet somebody and share them your love. I pray that my dream would become a reality. Start being bold with how you pray to God. You're like, you're kind of, you're kind of mocking him with your weak prayers. And why? Why are you praying weak? Because you have to be realistic. Because if I pray this and it doesn't happen, then God isn't real. That's not how that works. Just so you're aware. Because God can say yes. God can say no. And God can say, hold up. Wait, wait a minute. Start praying bold. Start treating God like he's the same God that sent his son to die on the cross and rose again three days later. Not like he's your parent who you're asking to lend $20. Start praying bold and watch your life be full of abundance. God wants you to believe in him and have faith that he can do it. 
Because if someone came up to you, one of your best friends came up to you, and they were in debt. They were going to go to jail if they didn't get their debt paid off. It was $100. I don't know why they had that, like the discount a little bit, like $100. They said, this is your best friend. They said, hey, um, can you lend me like a dollar, please? You'd be like, really? You think all I would give you is a dollar? Really? Like, I'm kind of offended that you, all you think is, no, you'd want them to go, hey, can you, can you please help me? I need a hundred dollars. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm the one you come to. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will help you. I'm the one you come to. Yeah, have faith that I'll be there for you. I'll have your back. Stop asking God for a dollar bill. Start asking God to help your dreams become reality. I just, I want to see more people chase their dreams instead of being mocked for doing so. And if you need a supporter, I'm here. I'm here rooting you on. I pray for you guys. I'm here saying you got this. Pop into stream. Say, hey, I'm chasing this dream. This is what I'm trying to do. I just need some encouragement. And we'll all be here for you. We'll celebrate the small things with you. Hey, I just got this promotion out of the new job. I quit my old job and I joined this new job and it was a really big step, but I just got a promotion today. We're here to sinking party like no other for that. Or drop a DM and say, hey, um, I just, I'm taking the leap for my dream. I just, I just need to know there's a supporter. I'm there for you. I try to answer all my DMs I can. I'm there for you. I'm a supporter. I'm here rooting you on. So now you can't say no one believes in you because you have one person at least and it's me. And you have God, so that's two. So, and I can assure you all the Ludoweenies would support you. So I'm here to support you. Chase your dream. Chase your goals. Don't, don't let other people tell you how you can think in life. Don't let them tell you your purpose. They don't know. They're probably just miserable and projecting the fact that they didn't do what they wanted to really do in life. So because they didn't do it, they don't want you to do it. Mm -mm. I want to see you win. I want to see you dream big and achieve those goals. I want to see it happen. Don't settle for mundane. Don't settle for mediocre. We don't take bare minimum. That's for sure. Go above and beyond. Start praying to God like he's the God you actually believe in. Start treating him like he's the same God that's sinking parted waters. And watch how powerful your life becomes. Because it happened to me. This is the only reason I'm telling you. It happened to me. Mentally, I was just so miserable. And I started praying to God. Like he was the God I believed in. And I started having a true relationship with him. And my life changed. And here I am. With the best community. I, could, I couldn't even ask for this. I, I didn't even know I needed this in life. I didn't know I needed each and every single one of you that show up. Each and every single one of you that comment on YouTube videos or TikToks or Instagram DMs. And just say, hey, just thinking about you. Like, I didn't know I needed each and every single one of you. But I did. Each and every single one of you played a very specific purpose in my life. And I, I, I don't know how to show appreciation for that. Because it is more than I ever could have asked for. And it's more than I ever thought I deserved. But just take my advice and chase your dreams, please. I really, really hope this inspired at least one person to really think about what they're doing in life and if it's actually what they want to be doing or if it's something that someone put on them, either a parent or a friend or whatever, or whoever it was. Maybe even yourself, you put quote unquote realistic boundaries on your life yourself because you're like, all right, I gotta do this. Take those off. Take off those boundaries and let God push you even further than you even knew imagined. And he will. He will. He doesn't disappoint. My God never, ever has disappointed me. Never, ever. I've gone through some crappy things, but I've learned and grown more than I ever could. And it brought me to where I am here. So I hope this episode truly, truly, truly does inspire at least one person. Remember, you are great. I love you guys. There's a new episode every other Tuesday. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the podcast and leave a five-star review. Um, subscribe to become a Ludwini. Leave a five-star review, but don't be a meanie. And remember, you're always a queenie. I remembered it this time, guys. I did it. All right. I love you guys. God loves you. Have a great rest of your week. And I will see everybody sometime soon. Goodbye.
Oi, oi, oi.